our sages have made this great astrological science available to us after a lot of hard work and inventions i will not say research when we do it it is research because we are searching the things again our sages have invented it but nowadays i think jyotish astrology is being very lightly done lightly done as in this particular sense that you know the people don't know the real implications and uses of astrology in fact even basics are not well known which sometimes create problems in analysis see there is no problem in analysis to be honest with you if you see a horoscope you can see a horoscope you can predict it but this is normal no this is a normal prediction what is lacking nowadays you can say it is good marriage you can say it is bad marriage you can go little bit deep into what bad what good also but not knowing the depth of astrology what our sages have told us we you know we cannot go that in depth into it what i am wanting to say i will explain with my topic today that is drishka d3 you know so divisional chart the concept is rashis are divided into parts drishka is the third division so a rashi is divided into three parts and the first part is 0 degree to 10 degree it will be called first drishka 20 degree 10 degree to 20 degree will be called second drishka and 20 degree to 30 degree will be called third drishka so any planet in any rashi 0 degree to 10 degree will be called to be in first drishka 10 degree to 20 degree will be called to be in second drishka 20 degree to 30 degree will be called to be in the third drishka this drishka is d3 now nowadays the uses of divisional charts and predictions is very little very few handful of people use it firstly secondarily even those who use, use it even in that 98% of people don't know the real uses of the divisional charts keeping this particular thing in mind i i have planned to do a course very extensive course on divisional charts which is starting from second of june right today itself which you can join if you wish to learn divisional charts in depth and even if you are late to join there is no issue recordings are available right there i am going to teach every divisional chart in depth and in that line right i am going to talk about d3 today so what is the purpose of d3 nowadays people just simply stick to the point that d3 is for siblings as parashar says there is kane bratrjam sokhya but as i have always been saying that first of all this particular line of where parashar is attributing different work to different divisional charts is somehow misguiding though it may be true 1% but 98% it stops you from looking at the real uses of the divisional chart dreshkan is used very very extensive people think which divisional chart one should see for disease that can be questioned people automatically assume that it have to be d6 because it is related to the sixth house first of all no traditional parashari divisional charts are not connected to houses as such so it is not d6 which talks about disease if you look into the texts of astrology in depth you will come to find that it is dreshkan d3 which one see for disease not only disease in fact death timing death reason this is also seen with respect to d3 right so death timing death reason should also be seen from d3 and not only that for this particular purpose transits are also used right transits in the 22nd dreshkan is used so for the timing of event also dreshkan is seen in fact what i have found that looking at transits and other such timing tools in divisional charts gives better result as compared to what it will give by looking into the rashi chart right if you are using transits on rashi chart it is very limiting as compared to the possibilities that the as compared to the results 
that it will produce when you check the transits and divisional charts. However, coming back to my topic, the very important but almost unknown in today's world, almost unknown but very important thing that Drishkan do for you is to tell the nature, behavior, character of the person. In fact, any bad thing that you can imagine, right, bad results that you can imagine, Drishkan tells you in depth. You see from D1 chart, you can tell you that this person is having a good character or bad character. But it is only D3 which will tell you what type of bad character. Is the person is vicious like a snake? I have recently shared a tip if you people are not aware of. That if moon or ascendant in D3, Dreshkan, is influenced by Mars, then in that scenario, person is snake-like, person is very vicious. Such people talk good at your face, but behind they backbite, they are very poisonous, they can silently wait to take revenge, very revengeful, very vicious, very bad character, very poisonous nature they have. Is what is told. Now, how will you use it in matchmaking? Whenever you are forming a relationship, you know, friend, boss, husband, wife, you should check this particular combination. If the moon or the ascendant in D3 chart is connected with Mars, then the person will be vicious. And ultimately, today or tomorrow, you will suffer in relationship. The person who is having this combination is vicious, so you have to be careful. Second point is any planet who is connected to Mars in D3 chart, when Dasha Antar Dasha of that planet comes, then because of the vicious nature of people in society, because of the vicious nature of people, poisonous nature, revengeful nature of people that you deal with in day-to-day -day life, you can fall into trouble. So at this point of time, you have to be very careful about what type of people you are interacting with and you should see everyone with a lot of intelligence and in this in, in these times you have to think a lot why this person is doing this you have to specifically think on the intentions of people right because if you don't do this if you remain unaware in this particular period then the revengeful nature of people will cause you a lot of financial social moral emotional harm so to save yourself you have to do this. This is the prime purpose of astrology to tell people beforehand about what is going to happen so that they can plan and do things accordingly. So Dreshkan is very much about nature character. And though from you can normally say that, okay, you know, from D1, you can say normal result that this person will be a bad person, this person will be a good person. This can you this this much you can do but it is only through Dreshkan that you can go in depth into it and not only that in fact special results such as will someone go to jail what is the combination for someone going into jail when you look at d1 chart there are very few combinations but coming to d3 chart there are many combinations which will tell you which person will be criminal etc Right. So from D1, you can only say that this can be a bad person. You cannot say that this will be bad to the level of being a criminal as such. Right. So for this, Dreshkan is very important. And there are many users of Dreshkan. This is just one of that. Right. Now see, three Dreshkan will be there in one Rashi. And these Dreshkan are divided. Right? These Dreshkan are given special names. That is what I am going to deal you with. This is a particular slide from the Burg Vivek course content, right? With every course, I give a PDF, which is akin to a book, right? With every course, almost every big course, there is a PDF around 100, 200 pages, which is like a book, right? So with every course of mine, you also get a book as well. So coming to the slide. This is a clip from the slide. Now, what you can see here, I have written names. 0 degree to 10 degree is the first Dreshkan. Right. 10 degree to 20 degree is the second Dreshkan. 20 degree to 30 degree in the, is the third Dreshkan. In Aries Rashi, first Dreshkan is Ayud and Chatushpad both. Second Dreshkan is Chatushpad. Third Dreshkan is Ayud and Pass both. Now, I should explain. I will be explaining you what these mean. Right. 
what is there that you can already read now you see ayud what does ayud means ayud means weapon person having weapon person being attacked by weapon these two are the meanings person having weapon what do you mean by that policeman army personnel security guard anything as such you see in many classics dreshkan is also used for profession if you don't know i am telling you so basically aries first dreshkan is ayudh third dreshkan is ayudh right gemini second dreshkan 10 degree to 20 degrees ayudh gemini third dreshkan 20 degree to 30 degree is ayudh leo first dreshkan 0 degree to 10 degree is ayudh second dreshkan 10 to 20 is ayudh in fact third dreshkan 22 30 is also ayud virgo second dreshkan 10 degree to 20 degree is ayud right sagittarius last dreshkan 20 degree to 30 degree is ayud capricorn first dreshkan 0 degree to 10 degree is ayud last dreshkan 20 degree to 30 degree is ayud aquarius all the three dreshkan is ayud pisces first and second dreshkan is ayud now what will happen if there is 10th lord which indicates profession is in these degrees one can be into police army one can be security person if the planet is in the 10th house in these degrees then the person can be into police army if the planet aspecting the 10th house is into these degrees one can be into police army this you can benefitingly use as a combination for being ias ips also now additional to this point if someone is asking you that will i become such big personality that if i can have z plus security or anything as such right for example you are seeing a combination for politician if one becomes a big politician they will also have z plus security right how this will happen if planet is in these degrees which are belonging to ayudreshkan and is connected to ascendant which indicates the person or to the 10th house which indicates the profession it does indicate that person can be so big in life person can make so great name fame status in life that he will have policemen to protect him such person can be celebrity politicians big businessmen anything that you can imagine right that's first point now on the other hand ayut means weapon that can also mean killed by weapon attacked by weapon right this can also be the case so basic point this is a very very important thing you see if you read classics you will come to find that if there are two planets malefic planets in the same drishkan that means two malefic planet are in any rashi but falling between 0 degree to 10 degree or 10 degree to 20 degree or 20 degree to 30 degree in the same dreshkan it becomes a very bad combination here gulik also should be taken now say one planet goes to 9 degree one planet goes to 11 degree these two are malefics in the same house <clears throat> but still because they are in two different dreshkan they are not problematic but two malefics going into same dreshkan is very problem now you see two malefics are going into one rashi or any of that happens to be a degree of ayud dreshkan in that particular scenario the person can be killed by the person can be attacked by people having weapon in this particular case person can be a serious offender also for that he will have to go to jail he will have to meet policemen right this is point number 1 secondarily if the eighth lord or planet in the eighth house planet aspecting the 8th house goes to the ayud dreshkan in that particular scenario person can be attacked by person can be killed by a weapon also right this you have to keep in mind okay now come to another point so this is about ayud in the same manner right so basic point is when benefic planets are there when the lord of good houses are there these drishkan indicate good result when malefic planets are there these drishkan give bad result 
and because drishkan is also very strongly used for death when the sixth when the eighth lord planet aspecting the eighth house planet in two eighth house goes to this drishkan they indicate death because of these things when the sixth lord twelfth lord goes into this drishkan then in that particular scenario it indicates great damage or loss because of these factors right and this is something that you cannot find from d1 chart or any other divisional chart for that matter so it is important now next comes chatushpad chatushpad means four footed right chatushpad basically i am just underlining which are the chatushpad drishkan for your ease right rest you can see the table yourself now what does chatushpad drishkan does chatushpad drishkan means animal right chatushpad means four footed chatushpad is animal so what happens in this particular scenario if the person if the person is having the good planet in chatushpad drishkan you say if the lagna lord goes into chatushpad drishkan or lagna goes into chatushpad drishkan in that particular scenario person is see animals also have good qualities right they are very much connected to their family they are very much focused towards their family they do everything to provide food protection resources to their family they are very loyal to their masters and someone who takes care of them these good qualities come in the native when benefic planet goes into chatushpad drishkan or when lagna is in chatushpad drishkan this is point number 1 when malefic planet goes into chatushpad drishkan then the also the native is animal like in this particular scenario while eating while speaking while doing things he does not take care of his boundaries not only that chatushpad drishkan animal like you see is a drishkan that is related to sexual offense because this is things in animals right they don't have a you know society which is they have a what is a multiple partner polygamy maybe you know they have a polygamous society they do not stick to one partner maybe there are one two animal which is six to one partner generally animals don't right so whenever seventh lord venus goes into chatushpad drishkan either it will indicate the person is very sexual right because animals are point one secondarily if the venus is afflicted by a planet who goes into chatushpad drishkan in that particular scenario sexual immorality sexual offense can be there on the other hand when the sixth lord sixth house indicates hitting planet in the sixth house sixth lord planet aspecting the sixth house influences from chatushpad drishkan in that particular scenario person can be hit by animal four footed animal on the other hand when eighth lord planet in the eighth house planet aspecting the eighth house goes to the chatushpad drishkan in that particular scenario death can happen because of hitting killing attacking by four footed animals right this is what how it should be predicted now come to the next set of drishkan that is pash pash means nous what does pash means pash means nous it is this nous this particular pash this is held by yamraj right yamraj catches people with his pash this is also held by varun varun the lord of waters is also having this particular pash what does it pash means pash means being under jail so when lagna lord which indicates the native 10th lord which indicates the karma or planet in the lagna or 10th house goes into pash drishkan it does indicate that person lives a life of confinement person lives a life where he is not free to do many things generally you should say that such person is living a life where they are having very less resources because of which they cannot do many things that they like or they are bounded by right so generally such people live as servants etc or live, un live under high pressure right they cannot do things that they want either because of their situation their finances or anything as such now you see i always say from the horoscope you will say that this person's professional life is not good this person's professional life is very good that you can say right but if someone ask you how much bad it is you know you cannot differentiate between someone who is having a bad professional life but still working in a normal company living as a normal person like you and us or another person who is a rickshaw puller you see 
how can you differentiate only drekan can help you do that other things cannot now if you are having a planet in past drekan in your 10th house or lagna don't get very disappointed you will have to use other principles also planet is exalted planet is vargottam planet is mood trikon in that particular scenario though it is in past drekan but it does not indicate bonded labor as you know a servant will but it will indicate that this person is working in such a company like you say such a company which deals with some information such a security company where the person cannot share his work or things that he do openly with people right so you will have to keep in mind other principles of prediction also one more point is there pash can also indicate jail so generally when malefic planets are in pash dreshkan and they are influencing strong houses they are influencing kendras primarily kendras right because kendras indicate how you live your day to day life planet in pash dreshkan are influencing kendras it generally indicates that person will have to go to jail that's point 1 right <clears throat> now this can be because of multiple multiple reasons for example you see nelson mandela served a uh, served some 20 27 years in jail now if you see the horoscope of Man mandela ji you will find that this moon 27 degree libra is in pash dreshka this moon is in the 11th house it is lord of the 8th house so for the benefit of his country for the freedom of his country he went to jail now because moon is also as important as ascendant right he himself chose to do it like he he, he did it for betterment of the country point 1 and because moon is as crucial as ascendant he spent 27 long years into jail like max good point of his life if you take 100 years of life 25 25 will be each part so good year good long years of his life he have to serve in jail right this is happening because of this particular reason okay so what this dreshkan is doing it is giving you an added edge into prediction which you otherwise cannot imagine on the other hand if there are see sixth lord is going into past dreshkan now sixth house also indicate evil tendency sixth lord planet influencing the sixth house is going into past dreshkan then because of the evil or mischief of the person the person may land in jail eighth lord planet in the eighth house planet aspecting the eighth house goes into past dreshkan person can die into jail or he can be you know like he can die into confinement generally in such scenario what i will predict that person may want to achieve something he will have a lingering desire to achieve something but he will die before achieving it and there will be rewards that i i could not achieve it that you know that that there is the pash that will be there right on the other hand if you see horoscope of criminals etc then you will say prominent planet in kendras quite afflicted are going into past drishkan indicating their criminal tendencies because of which they have to land in jail right so once again past as i told you past is news past is connected to jail past is connected to bondage now as per your understanding two three uses i have told you multiple uses you can also find right you just have to understand what is imprisonment what is jail and how it can function in day to day life right astrology is an intellectual science the more you think deeper secrets we will get now after that there is sarp dreshkan right sarp i told you in the starting when it is connect sarp means a snake so this as i told you in the starting indicates this is nature one more thing is there not only vicious nature right sarp dreshkan i will underline for yes so second dreshkan in taurus second and third dreshkan in cancer first and second dreshkan in scorpion last dreshkan of pisces is sarp dreshkan now sarp dreshkan when the eighth lord is there planet in the eighth house planet aspecting the eighth house is there one can die because of poison it can be biting by snake it can be food poisoning any type of poisoning is can it can be 
when the planet in the sixth house, sixth lord planet aspecting the sixth house goes into Sarvadresh Khan, one can suffer poison. Right? One can suffer poisoning in his life, but may not die because of it. Maybe he can recover. This poison also includes administration of wrong medication, taking as expired medication and all such things as such. When the Lagna Lord goes into Sarvadresh Khan, in that particular scenario, if the Lagna Lord is a benefic planet, if the Lagna Lord is into a good situation, it does indicate that people around this native are very vicious. People around this native are very revengeful and he will have to struggle through them. But ultimately, he will struggle. When the planet in the Lagna 10th house, Lagna Lord 10th Lord is going into Sarvadresh Khan while being afflicted or weak, in that particular scenario, the person himself can be very vicious, very snake-like, very revengeful. And one have to be careful from such people. If two vicious people marry each other, match each other, then it is very good. Right? But a normal person and a vicious person does not go well is something that you should understand. Now the next is Pakshi. Pakshi means bird. So the third Dreshkan in Gemini, uh, the first Dreshkan in Leo, the first, second and third Dreshkan in Virgo, like any planet in Virgo, the first Dreshkan and second Dreshkan in Libra, the first Dreshkan in Sagittarius, the first in Capricorn, the first in Aquarius is Pakshi bird. In this particular scenario, what is happening? Birds take care of their children very strongly. So such person have a very strong sense of family. They do anything for the protection of their family. And specifically, these are the people who will go and take any risk do anything for their family. These are generally the people who don't care about themselves, but care about their family only when good benefics planets are situated here. When malefics bad afflicted planets are situated in the Pakshi Dreshkan, then in that particular scenario, person generally does useless wandering. The person is generally unfocused, right? What he wanted to do, what he wanted to achieve, he is not very clear about it. And do things without any purpose. Generally, such people, you will say they will go to some friend's place and they will spend two, three hours talking. Talking to the friend or spending time outside in the on the roads or, you know, talking to people without considering that their own work is getting delayed. What they have to do? What is their responsibility? They are not aware of it. Right? Useless wandering, just killing time, living an unfocused life is produced by the planet who is in Pakshi Dreshkan. Not only this, see, all of these things are very important in Dasha Antar Dasha also. If there is any planet that is into Pakshi Dreshkan and the plan and the Dasha of that planet is running or going to run, in that particular scenario, what happens for that time period, for whatever period the Dasha is going, the person feels without a target. The person have difficulty finding what they want to do. The person have difficulty finding want, what they want to achieve. There is a lot of confusion in their life, which will be over once the Dasha is over. But at that point of time, these things are there. Along with that, useless wanderings, etc. is also there. One aspect of useless wandering, I will tell you, just suppose a person goes into a bad situation. A person needs some money. For that, he will go to his well-wishers, his friends that he thinks are his friends, and he will ask them for money. But suppose they refuse him that we don't have money or we cannot help you. What happened? You reaching out to the friend, going to him, doing a few things for him to please him and, and then asking for money took a lot of time and effort, but he could not provide you with that. This became useless. Or you say you went to a meeting for the purpose of finalizing a deal for that you had to travel 100, 200 kilometers. You reached there, but the deal did not finalize. So this complete process of go, coming to this place, doing the meeting became useless. So such things are useless wanderings, which can be given by the planet going into Pakshi Dreshkan in Dasha Antar Dasha. Or if there is a normal planet in Pakshi Dreshkan, you say seventh Lord is going into Pakshi Dreshkan in that particular scenario, the person, see what is happening now? Seventh house indicates marriage. So person will be in a relationship or person will have a friend. 
से गर्लफ्रेंड और बॉयफ्रेंड देर आर वेरी गुड दे आर वेरी गुड विद दैट पर्सन द रिलेशनशिप इज वेरी गुड वन डे दे परपोज द बॉयफ्रेंड और गर्लफ्रेंड एंड द पर्सन से इज दैट नो नो वी ओनली थिंक दैट यू आर यू आर आवर फ्रेंड वी डोंट कंसिडर यू एज वी कैन नॉट प्रोसीड इन द रिलेशनशिप वॉट हैपन इट बिकेम दिस स्टेप दिस पक्षी द्रेश कांट एल्स यू when seventh lord is there then you say person can be into a relationship but when they propose the person they are in relationship with marriage they refuse so being into relationship became useless right so this is also result of pakshi drishkan the person is meeting a lot of life partners but he is not able to marry any of them either they reject the person based on some grounds or the other person rejects them based on some ground and this have been happening for you say 5 6 years what is happening useless wandering useless finding is happening this is also a result of pakshi trishkan so many a time when people come and say sir since many years we are looking for marriage since many years we are looking for bride or groom but we are getting unsuccessful why it is happening generally the result is seventh lord venus or the dasha lord being into pakshi trishkan when the dasha lord is into pakshi trishkan you have to wait for the dasha antar dasha to get over if the dasha antar dasha is very long you will have to give them remedy if the seventh lord venus itself is going into pakshi dreshkan then it is a normal trait in that particular scenario you have to recommend them remedies to do that now because it is a pakshi dreshkan which is related with birds right feeding birds purchasing and freeing birds taking care of birds giving donation to hospital who deal with birds will be a very apt remedy right in the same manner it can be understood for other things also for ayudh dreshkan you can donate weapons for chatushpad dreshkan you can take care of animals right donate to animal hospitals if you see a you know if you see a diseased animal or if you see a animal hit by you know something bleeding animal you can take them to hospital right for sarv dreshkan the worship of shiva or doing narayan bali is very very useful very strong remedy right <clears throat> so coming back to my topic again so this is what how the pakshi dreshkan plays now after that there is cancer which is varah dreshkan it is only the first dreshkan of cancer which is varah varah means a bore it is only the first dreshkan of cancer which is varah that means the person have to dig very deep it is related to digging so the first 0 degree to 10 degree of cancer indicates a lot of finding lot of hard work lot of digging here the things cannot be easily found generally in this particular scenario what happens whatever the person is looking for is inside or very nearby but finding it is very difficult you see it is also used in prashna if in prashna the lagna lord seventh lord lagna or moon is going into 0 degree to 10 degree of cancer then in that particular scenario whatever thing is lost will be very difficult to find seventh lord is going into 0 degree to 10 degree of cancer finding a life partner can be very difficult there one have to have much patience right one have to wait for very long before finding it right so a lot of digging a lot of finding have to be done if a planet goes into first 0 degree to 10 degree of cancer right for all the other purpose varah should also be taken as chatushpad varah should also be taken as four footed animal dreshkan and pr prediction should be told for this particular reason the first dreshkan of cancer is chatushpad itself so that is already there varah is just an added point which is told for the particular reason that in first dreshkan of cancer one may have to search a lot one may have to dig very deep there have to be a lot of introspection and all of these things in the first dreshkan of cancer for the result to actually come out right <clears throat> after that we have covered almost all the dreshkanas one is this nigad dreshkan right the first dreshkan of capricorn is nigad other dreshkan there is no other dreshkan which is nigad so what does this nigad means you see nigad is also like pash nigad also means imprisonment whereas pash pash means noose nigad means imprisonment itself so the result of nigad dreshkan 
the result of 0 degree to 10 degree of Capricorn is again like imprisonment. And in this particular scenario, the same result of bonding, you know, bondation, not being free, not having much resources is felt. It seems like that someone is stopping you. Something is stopping you. Despite much hard work, thing is not happening. It looks like the gods are angry from you. In fact, Nigar and Pash Khan are like, you see, Badak, Badak means obstruction creator. Like something is obstructing you, something is binding you. No matter how hard you work, how many different approaches you try, how many things you do, you are just not succeeding. This is Badak, obstruction. You feel like you are obstructed, right? Same happens in Pash and Nigar Trishkan also. And who is the remover of obstructions? Ganesha. So worship of Ganesha, going to Ganesha temple, doing mantra chanting of Ganesha will be very useful for Nigar and Pash Trishkan, right? And if I see the list correctly, I have covered all these different Trishkanas. And I have told you that if planets are there, what will happen? Once again, I will repeat, when benefic planets are there, when good planets are there, when the Lord of good houses are in these Drishkanas, good result come. Or at least limiting result comes, bad result generally don't come. When malefic planets are, are in these Drishkanas, the special Drishkana work in a peculiar way. Most importantly, because Drishkana is seen for death, the Drishkan of the 8th Lord, the, Drish, the Drishkan of the 8th Lord, planet in the 8th house, planet expecting the 8th house for death. And the Drishkan of the 6th Lord, planet in the 6th house, planet expecting the 6th house for what things can cause harm to you should specifically be seen. The opinion is that you see degree of every house Lord and every planet. And based on the particular Dreshkan they, they uh, occupy, and based on the specific meaning of that particular Dreshkan, predictions have to be given. Right? The Dreshkan should also be seen for the Shandra, the Shalot. And what it will do for you, it will give you that predictive edge that you cannot get with other technique. So basically put, if you don't use Dreshkan, your prediction will remain scanty, low level. If you use Dreshkan, your prediction will become more elaborate, more in-depth. This is the uses of divisional charge. This is why multiple techniques have to be learned. Why multiple techniques have to be learned in astrology? Why I teach so many multiple techniques in multiple of my courses? Because if you really want to go very, very in-depth into predictions, you will have to take users of multiple techniques. Right? Making a prediction is quite a simple point that you can do with Rashi chart also. But multiple techniques take you in-depth. Right? And if you are wishing to learn in-depth astrology, either for yourself, just to see your horoscope and horoscope of family member, or either you want to professionally practice it. If you want to learn astrology in-depth so that you can tell result which will surprise people. You can tell result which no one else can tell you except for, which no one else can tell except for you. Then you should join my courses for sure. Thank you.